live from the Balls Visual Radio Studios, this is the Blades on Balls show. And now, here's your host, the voice of South African rugby himself, Hugh Bladen. Hugh, it's over to you. Uh, talk, Suemora. Hello? Suemora, talk up. Hello, Hugh. Excuse me, Are you, you're, you're live, you're live on Balls Radio. Oh, fantastic, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Talk, Sidia, my boy, how are you? Very well, Sidi. Nice to hear you guys' voices, man. Yeah, That's and that. you, and yours. Talker, can you talk yeah. to us? Can you talk to us? Uh, of course can I talk. We're sorry. <laughs> I'm, sorry we didn't, I'm sorry we didn't come out to the waterfront on Saturday night, but it was already yeah, quite late. Yeah, well, I was late. waiting for you guys. Yeah, and I'd met a couple of guys from Durban who were there and oh, uh, at the Newlands, and so we just... I just thought we'd, you know, for me to come out there, and in fact, I didn't. I didn't even have a car, so it was uh, one of those. <laughs> things we could have helicopter for you. you yeah, I could you, have you, got. You, I you could have got onto Main Road in Cape Town and hitched a talker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So tell me, you were. I were you in the grandstands on Saturday, or were you in a suite? I was. I was in a suite. that was fortunate, and I can tell you, I. Like my old days, walking and seeing the crowd and talking to everyone about the game, having a few beers at Forest before the time, and sitting in our mutual suite on Saturday and was unbelievable, like you used to say in your commentary. And uh, yeah, it was it was, it was this one of those really I haven't done it for ages. You and it was so lucky to really see all the fans and see how positive they are about stream of rugby, and it was excellent. It was one of those uh, you know great moments in life where. You know, Tesla directly at Newlands. I mean, it's, it's fantastic to have been at. Yeah, great. Um, do you also, when you commentate at Newlands, climb over the bar and then down the ladder and into the wind tunnel? And <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. You know, but now, of course, the commentary, we've moved down to the, to the, main, the main pavilion downstairs. And the reason that Kubis and myself doesn't commentate together is, uh, there's no way you'll fit into that commentary <laughs> box if we need to commentate together. That's why, that's why I was off on Saturday. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. It's cheek, but it's true. You, I mean, it's, it's, it's a hectic, and I think for the listeners, if I really know where we commentate at Newlands, oh, well, you, you're actually very scared sitting there. Now. Just, one of these days, you're just going to feel like going down that uh, wooden floor. And uh, you, uh, I mean, now, I think the next time we get to Newlands, I'll give us each a parachute because... If we go, we go, my man. Well, Tuk, I was just describing to people how you climb over the rail and then into the ladder and then you put all your weight on your arms to get your left foot over <laughs> and how I... Well, in fact, I got up there and I said to Joel, who was overseeing me, Joel, I, you know, I said, I've been to gym for a month to get this thing right. <laughs> and, no, and you if, must remember it's difficult for you, how difficult for me and Quibbers. Well, I, I, I guess so 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 guys, you know, he just weigh over a hundred k's. I mean, it, it, no, you, you're right. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Tell me, Toka, uh, and no, I mean, no. a, a little bit disappointed. Well, very disappointed. We didn't get the bonus point. Straight. What did you think of the game? Yeah, it was interesting, you you know, if you think uh, that we scored at a, at a point a minute, you know, we're 20 minutes in the game, we were 23 up, it yep. was a fantastic test match to see in the first 20 minutes, and then, I don't know what went wrong, because it just looked like we took our first foot of the pedal totally, uh, we dominated him up front, I mean, we were really over him, the back line looked very good, the ball distribution was excellent, the box looked to me very sharp, you know, and uh, especially for guys like Yanni and Mornet playing in their 50th test, I thought really, yeah, we're going to give... Uh, Australia 50 points, and it, I don't know what happened in that, that next. If you look at the last uh, 10 minutes and the first 20 minutes of the second half, not much happened in that test. You know, Australia changed with Will Guinea coming up, McCallum, the, the flank came up, and uh, those two guys made a big difference in Australian side. But on the day, with how we played, we should have put them away by. I uh, seriously, the box not up 30 or 40, 40 points for sure. We were. 40 point, uh, points better than, than Australia on Saturday. Yeah, sure. yeah, I agree with you, Doc. Yeah, you know, the thing is, Tuk, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I, I said, Phil Kern said to me before the game, he said, do you think this will be 50? And I, I you know, I, I, I'm always very conservative. And I said, hold on a second. I don't think it'll be 50 points. I think we will win the game. I said, but I don't think it'll yeah. be, you know, by 50 points. And then after 10 minutes, when we ran in those two brilliant tries, mm. I thought, hold on a second, try, this yeah. could happen. 
And then, uh, yeah, it's, and, it's, and then it's so strange. It's strange. Really, sorry to interrupt you. Just, I really thought of uh, really taking them on the scrum, so dominating the lineouts. You know, really being playing positive, monarching to touch first penalty, and it's, it, Adrian Stray scoring at first time. And I mean, Kirsten, probably I, I heard your commentary. I, I agree with you. Probably with the trial of of of, 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 of this match that I haven't seen for ages. You know, and and what a wonderful way of, of creating the ball and running into space and. With John Avalidis pass to, to JJ Engelberg for putting uh, Zan Kirsten yeah, away. Brilliant. It was fantastic. Fabulous, and at that stage, I said to the guy in the suite, I said, My score was in the raffle was 30 12. You know, and I thought, Chew, no, this is going to be miles away. You know, we're going to club him by 40. And, yeah, like you say, for, for the next 25 minutes, not much happened in that test. And that was sad to see. Yeah. Very yeah. sad to see. It was. Funnily enough, on, on Saturday night, and I find this after test matches at 5 o'clock, Sydney, that I, you know, I spent some time chatting to my mates from Durban and members of our crew and that sort of thing. And uh, I got into bed uh, sort of around about quarter to 12. And, uh, and I couldn't go to sleep. You know, I, I was so wide yeah. awake and the whole thing. Because I, I think your adrenaline is still pumping and the whole bit. Well, and sure. so I For turned sure. on the, the All Blacks uh, the, uh, Argentine game. Yeah, I watched And that. I watched it. And I thought, you know, oh, this is it. The, 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 the Argentina plays so brilliantly for the first yeah, 25 that, minutes, that sort of thing. And then, uh, you know, right at the death, I thought, gee, they're actually going to do it that the All Blacks don't get a bonus point. And then, of course, did, you, did you see that? You, you watched it. Yeah, so, well, 30 Sydney. seconds to go, and they scored that uh, bonus point try. Yeah, and, it, was, it was actually, you know, it was 36 seconds. I watched it again. And yeah. Ben Smith under the poles, you know. Yeah. And then you realize that how important that last line-out was for the Springboks, two, three minutes to go before the end, that yeah. we missed the line-out. Our line has been good the whole game. Here we go. We're close to the line, to, and our driving was been amazing. I mean, when Bismarck came on, you could just see how hungry this guy is to play test match rugby and how much he is just in such great form. Nothing to, nothing to take away from Adrian. Nothing, but yeah, sure. I couldn't believe we lose the line-out so close to the line. That's how... That's a trump card. I mean, that's where we've been. Streamlock's been unbelievable this, this whole year. And that was for me the point. And there we should have got that bonus point try. And then imagine going to Alice Park on Saturday. It would have been unbelievable to see this spectacle of this match. I mean, I've had so many phone calls today already, people looking for tickets. There aren't any tickets. So please, guys, I think you're on board. There was all the teller people. It's a sellout <laughs> crowd at Alice Park. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be something so special. A guy phoned me this morning, you here and, and, and City. Saying it feels like the atmosphere is going to feel like the '95 World Cup final, and I agree. Mm. Yeah. And just yeah. imagine if we were really, we also had a bonus point, we were four oh. points different, but better than New Zealand. What a spectacle it would have been. The question now is, can this side go and score four times against All Blacks? That, that, that yes. Question yes. Question the whole yes. week's going to be asked. You know, so, there's certain ways I think we can do if we can dominate up front and we can play the type of game and expensive game and really run at them and, and play them physically in their faces like they don't like. These guys don't like to, to be intimidated and I, I've seen it now. So yes, the I question agree with you, the whole week is, is that can we score at four times out of stock? And you know, City, thanks for inviting me to your suite other night. Yeah, pleasure. Spoke about are you, are you doing week. commentary this week? Talk to you, will you be here? No, no, no. I've, I've got to do a big game. I've got to do province lines at, at <laughs> Newland. <laughs> what time, talk to you, what time is that game? At the end of the two o'clock, yeah. Two on, o'clock. Two o'clock on the Saturday. On the Saturday. So the curtain raises at two of the tests, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. okay. Talks. I'm. Yeah, uh, I yeah. greet you. I'm. I, we've run out of time, and I'm going to Australia this afternoon. Uh, so yes. I'll see you and be in contact with you after the 17th of October. And. Uh, oh, wonderful, Yuri. Have a wonderful, uh, d- d- you know, my, uh, I'm so looking forward. I haven't seen my family over in Australia for nearly three years. Sure. And I've got three, my son and daughter-in-law and three grandchildren oh. there. And I, uh, uh, but the one thing I really am sorry about is that uh, I'm going to miss this test on, on Saturday. Uh, because I, yeah, I, I think it is you. going to be a huge event. However, I will be either at home at my son and daughter-in-law's home or we might find a little... Bear somewhere? Nah. <laughs> nah. A little bear? Find a little bear. And have, a, have a VB? <laughs> have a VB. And I know the Aussies and New Zealanders don't get on all that well, so maybe we'll have a few Aussies yeah. shouting for us. 
So it could be quite fun. I will fun. tell you a very funny story before you go. And uh, when we used to play in Australia, always looking for beers. I couldn't remember the one beer, and I said, "Man, that that X X X X beer, you know." <laughs> I mean, I know I call it the four X beer, yeah. <laughs> and, and the guys were still teasing me about that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can enjoy it, man. It's wonderful. I know your son well, Tim Murray got, and I hope you travel safe. And Thanks, yeah, Tuka. pretty well being a sweet, I know, and. Uh, it's wonderful to spend time with you two gentlemen last uh, yeah. two weeks ago. Isn't well, it? sweet and you always scholar the gentleman and, and always brilliant really to talk to you and yeah, lovely man. One, it's, it's, one uh, question it's is strong and well and I can't wait to also have a test match and say that. One question from Mid City uh Docs. Um do you think Western Province rugby will ever move to Cape Town Stadium? I mean Newlands a hallowed ground. Do you think it'll ever move, your opinion? Yeah, uh, city's a good question, you know. It's, 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 it's a hell of an exercise to do it, you know. And the major, main problem, and I've spoken to a lot of the guys, is Newland's got 387 suites. Oh, uh, so that is only 300 uh, out. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so the, the problem is that, that, that the new stadium, they'll have to spend another, say, 340 to 400 million bucks wow. to, to create new suites. You know, the, the, the Captain Stadium at this stage is taking 68,000 people. And I spoke to a guy who's a good mate of mine here at the stadium, new stadium. He said, if they bring in the suites, they'll have to, to, to bring down that spectatorship to about 58,000. So wow. you drop down 10,000 people bringing in suites. So, so, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Is that the way you want to go? Uh, for me, sad on Saturday to see there were still open spaces for a test match. Yes, oh, I meant to bring that uh, up. Yeah. It really? It's so so that was sad to see, but uh, uh, we don't know. We don't know. I think there's so much tradition, and then if you talk to all the older players, they say now they want to stay at Newlands. Mm. But in the long run, you never know. Most of the test matches now belong to Saru. Yeah. Will Saru ever uh, give another test match to Newlands? We don't know. Maybe yeah. the next one will be the Captain Stadium. Very, that, very interesting. Uh, that talks. We leave, so we leave that to, to the administrators of, of the Powers government. Doctor, so, yeah. but whenever yeah, you... We'll be sad to see the test match that we leave Newlands, but we never know what the, what the future of. Brother, whenever you're in Joburg, you know where to come, eh? No, for sure. It's, it is, it's wonderful to, to see you guys and always being so positive. And you, Eli, listening to you on, on Saturday in the street, uh, your, your commentary, that is wonderful. Uh, really, it's, the people love it. And, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, I just hope. I've got a feeling, I don't know, I've got a funny feeling that, well, you remember that test match, you and I wonder, I think you did that match, is that when Mari Zubay scored those three tries Yeah, I did. Oh, we're, might, just, we're just might, talking about it. might go it. that yeah. way this is I'm actually sitting here with, I don't know what, uh, Unner Fleiss in English is a, 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 a Chicken pox. I know. <laughs> yeah, Hang on, Unner Fleiss. Goose pimples. Goose pimples. <laughs> Goose pimples. Uh, one, one I said the other day is just chicken pox, but I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, but dear. I mean, really, guys, it's yeah. so nice to talk to you. And, uh, yeah, but I, and I, I know I'm, uh, you guys got to go, but to you, I must tell you guys the last story. Is that I love it. A mate of mine went to his entire place over there, and he said he wants four bands four for bands. his car. And as we're behind the counters, and so we know four bands. He says, yeah, I'm in four bands for my car. I'm jumping four bands. He says, no, man, we don't sell bands. He says, wait, wait, can I phone my friend? He says, yeah, that's a fellow. He says, hey, but it's every con for tires. Lovely. Talk, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks about pal. About all the very go best to you. Enjoy life, eh? yeah, you too, talks all the best, brother. All the best. Take care. Bye. So, so, and you have a safe trip in city. Great to talk to you. And uh, I send my regards to your family in yeah. Australia. We'll Thanks, hey, Tom. Well. Cheers, bud. That was the Blades on Ball Show. Join the voice of South African rugby on your wireless next Monday for more unbelievable memories and banter. Until then, stay classy, like 20-year-old Glenn Morangi classy.